Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been so long. I know it's been a while. Um, today I am going to do kind of like a get ready with me using the Morphe 35V palette and also going to be talking about some things that have really been on my mind. So I'm going to jump right in, start getting ready, and I'll put down in the description what colors that I'm using. So I've had this video idea for a while and I'm going to kind of tell you the idea is like confessions of a fast food employee. So basically I'm going to be bitching about things that people do in the drive through that annoy the crap out of me. So the first thing is people licking their fingers right before they hand me money. Like, come on. Do you really think that I want to touch that money after you've licked it? Like, what the heck? I mean, I know there's probably worse things on the money, but it's just the whole idea that somebody literally just licked their fingers. And I get it. You can't like grab your money very easily, whatever your hands are dry, put some freaking lotion on. Don't go like this and then start counting your money out. Like that's so fucking gross. So the other thing is when people pull up to the window and they say, is there ketchup in my bag? Like, bitch, did you ask for ketchup? If you did, then yeah, it's probably in there. And if it's not, I'm sorry, I'm human. I might've forgot to put it in there. But just assuming that there's some particular sauce in there, like we don't automatically put ketchup in your bag. I'm not gonna waste ketchup and like put it in every single person's bag because most people don't use ketchup when they get a cheeseburger that already has ketchup on it. And also, don't be so rude. Like, I'm sorry that you're having a bad day, but don't take it out on me. I'm there to service for service and to like, hopefully make your day better by getting something delicious to eat. Like, I have had customers before literally throw their trash at me. Like, I'm sorry, we aren't allowed to take your trash. So if you hand me trash or try to hand me trash and I tell you, I'm sorry, the garbage is around the corner. I can't take that. And you freaking throw your cup at me. Like, really? It's like the rudest thing. I don't understand people. So, you know, if you're the happen to be the customer after that, that has to deal with me being a little bit grumpy, please try to be understanding that maybe I just had garbage thrown in my face. Also, the people in the fast food industry, we're human. We make mistakes. Don't freaking scream at us because we accidentally put pickles on your hamburger. Like, God, be understanding. We're making so many orders per day. Every once in a while, it's going to happen. Something's going to be wrong. I don't get it. Like screaming, cussing. Like, first of all, I'm probably not the one that made your cheeseburger. So freaking relax. Second of all, like really, like I would not want to be your partner or your child because you probably treat them the same way. I just, I really don't get it. Also, if I have my hand out to grab your money from you, flopping it on the counter right next to my outstretched hand, that's fucking rude. So rude. If you see my hand there, put it in my hand. It's nice. It's simple. It's like a really super easy thing to do. Sorry. Apparently my video cut off and I didn't realize it. So. If you pull up to the window and you're like five feet away from the window and you barely put your hand out, that is so rude. Like, why should I have to hang my entire body out the window just to give you your stuff? Like, ha people are just so inconsiderate. I don't understand. Or like, 
how hard is it to just say, hey, you know, I don't need my receipt. Like, people take their receipts from me and crumple it, like, a fit from my face. Like, really? Do you have to do that? Is it is it so hard to say that you don't want it? I just really don't understand. <laughs> so, yeah. I just don't get it. Also, when you come into the drive-thru and you're ordering your food and you're letting your child scream bloody murder when I'm trying to listen to your order and then you want to get huffy because I couldn't hear you think people think like would you like it if I had somebody screaming in the background when you're trying to listen to me like that's kind of what I my point is like put yourself in somebody else's shoes another thing like <laughs> adding things at the window when we're really slammed like I don't want to be rude and say sorry I can't add that because we're too busy because technically we need to like let you add it but when you're in the drive-thru it's one order per car so what makes you think it's okay to order and then wait till you're at the window and pay and then order something else like I get it some people are forgetful I'm super forgetful but like what I do if I do that and I've already paid out I'll go around run inside real quick add a drink like I, because I know how hard it is to freaking hold up your line when you got five people behind you's orders ready and they want their food too so why is it okay to hold up that whole line you know like ugh. think about somebody other than yourself and <laughs> trying to place two orders and then getting mad that you can't like Jesus it's not like I personally pick the rules you know, I, I am not the company. There's a phone number on every website or at least an email where you can talk to corporate. Take it up with them. I'm not the one that made that rule. <laughs> Getting mad at me for the prices going up, same thing. I'm not the store owner. I didn't add 50 cents to everything. Do you think I like it when my coffee prices go up? When I go to Starbucks, I don't want to pay $5 and change for a freaking coffee. I remember getting them for way less than that. Like, honestly, I'm not the one that did that. So don't get pissed at me and want to complain to me. I don't know. Maybe you just need to vent. Maybe I should try to be a little understanding. <laughs> Also, when you order nuggets, A, it's so rude to be like, oh, what kind of sauce do you have? We have like 20 sauces. I get it. Maybe you haven't, maybe you don't eat here very often and you really don't know. But it sucks to have to list them all out. Like, really? <laughs> or asking for one of each sauce because you can't decide. Like... Don't do that and expect to not be charged for extra sauce because that's like overkill. When it's freezing outside and you want to sit there counting one dollar and then one dollar or like digging through coin or if you've already been sitting in line for like a minute or two and you don't have your money ready, like come on. It's just a little bit rude. Like, it's been freaking one degree here, seven degrees. I honestly don't want to sit there waiting for you to count your money or dig for your card. If you're already sitting there for a couple minutes, dig it out. Have it ready. It's considerate. I understand if you're like the only customer and you're just pulling up. Not gonna expect you to be driving in the drive-thru and finding your money. That's that's understandable completely. 
And then also, if I can't hear you and I tell you, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What was that? Speak up a little bit. Don't yell at me, which that's super rude too in itself. But just talk just a tiny bit louder. Like, I can't stand it when somebody orders something. Hey, can I get blah, blah, blah. Like, I can't hear you. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, really? Talk just a tiny bit louder for me. It would make my life so much easier. Talking on the phone and ignoring me. Or when you pull up to the freaking speaker and you're talking on your phone. That's so rude. Tell them I gotta go. I need to order my food. Figure out what your wife wants before you get on the drive-thru. Especially when we're busy. It's so horrible. Like I've had somebody sit there for five minutes talking on the phone, holding up my line. And then like literally order a sausage muffin after sitting there for all that time. It's just rude. Sorry if you can hear my cat chirping. It's because my mirror keeps reflecting on things. So she thinks it's a toy, a game. It's pretty annoying. I've already traced her out of here a few times and have now come to the conclusion that she's not going anywhere. Also, if you get to the store and it's 10 minutes to lunch, don't sit in the drive-thru waiting for lunch. Like that's so rude to all the other customers that are sitting behind you wanting to order their breakfast. Like maybe they're on their way to work and they need to get something real quick and you're sitting there for 10 minutes holding up the line when they really need to be somewhere. Like, ugh, horrible. Freaking pull around and park, wait for us, and then come back. Ordering a cheeseburger and saying, I want a cheeseburger plain, just the meat, cheese, and the bun, as if I don't know what plain means. That gets on my nerves. Like, don't talk to us like we're stupid. Just because we work at a fast food restaurant doesn't mean we're dumb. Honestly, most people would not last a day doing my job. So much shit gets talked about fast food workers. They've clearly never worked at a fast food restaurant before. We bust our asses. It's one of the hardest jobs I've ever had. I enjoy it. It's not for everyone because it is tough. Like, it's hard work. People think it's just so easy. Oh, they're just flipping burgers. Like, really? You think that's all that we do? I can't stand that when people trash, tra trash talk. Oh my God. Can't stand that when people trash talk fast food workers. Ugh. Also, when you say, I'd like a dollar Coke. Okay. What if... All of the drink sizes are a dollar. And I ask you, okay, what size? The dollar one. Like, I'm a fucking idiot. Like, okay. <laughs> Some people don't want a large. Some people want a medium. So I never assume. Like, I learned real quick to never assume what somebody wants. Because most of the time you're going to get it wrong and they're going to be pissed at you. Because people just get pissed at you because it's all your fault. I had a lady the other day get so pissed at me. She pulled up to the window and she says, I was charged 20 cents too much. From the beginning, she had the snottiest tone. And I looked at her receipt and she had ordered a cheese. She says, on the receipt, it says hamburger meal add cheese, which that's how we bring it up. So if somebody wants the cheeseburger meal, it has to be rung as a hamburger add cheese. I then explained it to her why it was charged that way. No, she says. I come here every day 
and I've never been charged that way. Like, really? <laughs> we don't have a button for the cheeseburger. So I don't know where she thinks that she's been going every day and getting not getting charged the hamburger. But she was being so nasty towards me and flipped out and started yelling at me. And then the person behind her, after she finally leaves, thank God, said that she was extremely rude to her as well. Cut her off. Was, like, yelling at her. Just don't get people like that. The point of my video is not just to complain. It's to hopefully make you aware of the things that you're doing or that you, how you might be treating others and maybe stop, like stop and think, Hey, you know, I wouldn't like to be treated like this. Maybe I should be a little bit nicer. And this applies to everything, not just fast food restaurants, anybody. The next time you're upset because maybe the person that helped you wasn't the most friendly person in the world, think maybe their dad just died yesterday and they're not feeling their best, but they can't afford to take time off work because they have to have that income to pay their bills. Just remember, we're all human. We're not perfect. Neither are you. Love you guys. I hope you like this video and I will see you next week.